Hey everybody, this is Brian with the Instructional Tech Coordinator team and in this series of videos we've been working through setting up a recording, uh, completing that recording in GarageBand on the iPad. And now in this video what we're going to do is take a look at how to get that, that final audio project off to a different place. How to get, turn it into a teacher or submit it somewhere else. So here you can see we've got a multi-track one, two, three, four different tracks or layers of sound uh, audio project. And now I'm ready to move on to the final stages. It's done, it's edited, it's ready to go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my songs here. Now, I can do a couple of things. Um, one thing that I can do is I can retitle that song. And I'll show you how I did that here in just a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and title this as my test audio project. That's important, especially when you are working on a lot of different projects at once. But the way that I do that is simply by tapping in this area right here. And then you can see I can read uh, label it or type it over something else. So here we've got our test audio project. This is the file that I'm working with. Now, what do I want to do with that particular project? Now, if sending that project off to another student is the preference, then you'd really want to focus on something like AirDrop. And if you're not familiar with what AirDrop is, I don't have another uh, iPad here to, sh to demo that for you, but AirDrop allows you to take a file from one iPad and send it to another iPad that's in a local vicinity. Um, using Bluetooth and, and uh, network that way. That's a good one if you are working on a GarageBand project and I need to pass my GarageBand file with all of its layers and tracks off to another student for them to do their work. It's still preferable, I think, to, to let one student do all the work on their iPad while other kids contribute to it. But if you have the need to do uh, passing of a GarageBand file, the best way to do that without losing all of the tracks and edits is to do that through an AirDrop. However, we have another option here. If we really want, what we really want to do is just get the audio project off to somebody else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by clicking select. You'll see that they are now jiggling. And that means I can select them. I'm going to select test audio project by tapping on it. This blue line comes around it. Now I could do that for a couple if I needed to. And I wasn't going to do that. Um, I could select a couple, but I really want to just work with one. These can be fairly large files, and so you want to keep your file size small. Then up here, I can do a couple of things. I can delete it if I need to do that. I can store it to the cloud if that's an important thing for me to do. Or if I use our icon that represents we can send it somewhere, um, up here you can see if I was dropping the AirDrop file, if I had a partner nearby, I could use that, and their iPad name would show up here. But here are the options that are probably most common. Now I can mail that file and for short audio projects that might be a preferable way of doing it. Of course when you start thinking about having 30 or 60 or 150 audio projects coming in, that can be a lot of email and it can pretty easily be lost. So there are some other suggestions that we have. One suggestion that I really like is the YouTube option. Uh, YouTube is, of course, primarily for video, but if I use YouTube as my option here, I can actually take the audio file and send it off to my YouTube account as a student. Remember, every student and every teacher in the district has a YouTube account associated with their uh, district-provided Google account. And this will actually take the audio, put it out on YouTube, and it just, as far as the video goes, just puts a GarageBand icon in its place. To me, that's a great way to share it with a wider audience of people um, without having to know all of their email addresses. So if this is a project that was gonna go somewhere else and, and you needed a wider audience to see it, YouTube would be my uh, probably most preferred option because it does allow you to share it well and it also kind of keeps an ongoing record of your audio and video projects. The other option that I have that's a, a realistic option is my open in option and this fits best with the workflow that we promote. So here, I bring it brings up my information about um, the kinds of, you know, the name, the composer, all of that sort of thing. So I can go in and, and type that. The quality of it, for most things that we need, you know, high or medium quality would, of course, work. But if it's a really high audio project, you could choose something larger. Then we're going to tap Share. And what you'll notice here is it says Exporting Song. 
That's important to note. What it's going to do is it's going to take all of those tracks and it's going to mush them down into a single audio file, just like would be played on a CD or an MP3. Um, and so that you don't need GarageBand to open it up on the other side. Now, a couple of things that you could do here. If you were making an audio project that was also going with an iMovie project, you could send that audio right over to iMovie and work from there. Now, depending on the apps that you've got on your iPad, depends on where you can send it. But the one that I like most is if you have the Google Drive app on your iPad, you can open this directly in Google Drive. And what this is going to let me do is upload it. It is going to upload it as an M4A project. It's just going to put in my recent uploads. And then here, when I tap on the I, I can move this file to, and if you've got a file where you have all of your students put all of their projects for your class, they can send it directly to that file, giving you access and giving them access. Um, now, the only caveat that I'll throw out there, and it is a problem, we are, we've already made Apple aware of it, but um, is that M4A projects aren't something that you can listen to on the iPad. So if a student is sharing their final product with you in this format, you'd have to listen to it on a, uh, on a desktop or on your laptop. It doesn't matter which computer you use, but the M4A format just doesn't work really well on the iPad right now. Uh, as I said, we have made both Apple and Google aware of that, and hopefully we'll see an update that'll fix that in the near future. But at this point, um, that doesn't work. Not a big deal. It is still there in the cloud for you to access as the teacher and to hear their audio projects. You just would need to do so from a laptop. So again, probably the, the most ideal would be YouTube because that could be listened to uh, right from your uh right from your iPad, your laptop, it doesn't matter what device you use. Probably the next best would be to send it over um, via a Google Drive folder and share it with you that way. And then of course, the other options would be something like mail. So those are the ways that we get an audio project out of GarageBand so that someone can listen to it on the other end who doesn't necessarily have GarageBand to listen to it. One last caveat that I will throw in, uh, and that is this. Once that file has been mixed down uh, into a single format, you can always come back and edit the project in GarageBand. But if that person were to take, the person who is receiving that mixed down version were to take that and open it up in GarageBand, all of your tracks, let's say you had four tracks like I did on the other side, all of them would be available in a single track. So it mixes it down. And if you were to open that back up in GarageBand, a different user who you had sent it to, theirs would be mixed down into a single version. So it's just something that you should definitely be aware of. And if all of that technical talk has thrown you, just think about using YouTube, Google Drive app, or of course, mail to share it. Thanks again. And as always, if you have questions, feel free to let us know.